This is Mrs. Zappiet with Lesson 17, Sampling Variability. Students use data from random samples to estimate a population mean. Students understand the term sampling variability in the context of estimating a population mean. Pause the video and copy the essential question. How do you estimate a population characteristic? The owners of a gym have been keeping track of how long each person spends at the gym. 800 of these times in minutes are shown in the population tables. These 800 times will form a population that you will investigate in this lesson. It would be unusual to know all of the population values. Indeed, if you do have all the population values, then there is little point in taking a sample because you could calculate the population mean using a computer if necessary. Think of a population where you do not have all the population values. For example, the heights of all the adults in the town where the school is located. Think of another population where you do have all of the population values. What about all of the salaries of the employees at a company? All of the employee salaries will be stored in the company's computer. This is the rest of the data from the 800 people going to the health club. Look at the values in the population. Can you find the longest time spent in the gym in the population? And can you find the shortest? We want the longest time and the shortest time. Hmm. I'm looking for the highest and the lowest values. It's a little difficult to find. However, the longest time is 92 minutes and the shortest time is nine minutes. On average, roughly how long do you think people spent at the gym? In other words, by just looking at the numbers in the two tables, make an estimate of the population mean. So we have people going to the gym 45 minutes, 58 minutes, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, 83 minutes, 81 minutes, 55 minutes. Now keep in mind, anything over 60 is over an hour. So they're pretty high. There's one that's low, 28 minutes, 16 minutes, 82 minutes, 83 minutes, 53 minutes. They're kind of all over the place, but they are centering around an hour. Some more, some less. 75 minutes, 85 minutes, a little more, a little less, a little more, a little more, a little less. Let's call that about 60 minutes to estimate the population mean. You could find the population mean by typing all 800 numbers into a calculator or a computer, adding them up and dividing by 100. This would be extremely time consuming and it usually is not possible to measure every value in a population. Not only that, but you probably would have an error in your data entry. Instead of doing a calculation using every value in the population, we will use a random sample to find the mean of the sample. The sample mean will then be used as an estimate of the population mean. Study tip. The population mean is a population characteristic. Remember the essential question for today. How do you estimate a population characteristic? You estimate it using the data from the sample. Example two, selecting a sample using a table of random digits. The table of random digits provided with this lesson will be used to select items from a population to produce a random sample from the population. The list of digits is determined by a computer program that simulates a random selection of the digits 0 through 9. Imagine that each of these digits is written on a slip of paper and placed in a bag. 
After thoroughly mixing the bag, one slip is drawn, and its digit is recorded in the list of random digits. The slip is then returned to the bag, and another slip is selected. The digit on this slip is recorded and then returned to the bag. The process is repeated over and over. The resulting list of digits is called a random number table. How could you use a table of random digits to take a random sample? Place the table of random digits in front of you. Without looking at the page, place the eraser end of your pencil somewhere on the table. Start using the table of random, random digits as the number closest to where your eraser touches the paper. This digit and the following two specify which observation from the population tables will be the first observation in your sample. For example, suppose the eraser end of your pan pencil lands on the 12th number in row 3 of the random digit table. This is the table of random digits. So we've got the third row, the 12th value, one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, So there's our 12th value. And then it said to use the three digits. So we've got 5, 1, 4. So 5, 1, 4 is our random number. Now we take 514 and we go to the population sample. 514 would be located in this row. This is uh, 510, 511, 512, 513, 514. So we've got the row of 5, 1. And then we are to go to 514. And the number is 53. 53 is our first random number. This number 5 and the two following numbers are 1 and 4. This means that the first observation in your sample is observation 514 from the population. Find observation 514 in the population table. We did this by going to row 51 and moving across to the column heading 4. This observation is 53. So the first observation in our sample is 53. If the number from the random sample, if the number from the random number table is any number 800 or greater, you will ignore this number and use the next three digits in the table. We ignore 800 or better because we only have 800 samples from the health club. Step two, we continue using the table of random digits from the point you reached and you select the other four observations in your sample like you did above. For example, continue on from the position in the example given in step one. The next number from the random digit table is 716. So let's go ahead and do that. The next number from the random digit table is 716. So we go down to 71 and then the third digit was 6. So we go down from the row 6. And where that intersects, that is our number. So the next number in our sample is 63 minutes. The next number in our random digit table is 565. So we go down from the 5 because that's the last digit in the table. And then 56, this is the row. And the number is 54 minutes. Uh, sorry, the number is 31 minutes. So this was the number 565, row 56, column 5. And the number is 31 minutes. 
Our next number in the random digit table is 911. There is no observation 911 because we only have data for 800 people. The next number in our digit table was 928 and there is no observation. The next number in our table is 303. So what row would you go to? And then what column would you go to? The row would be 30 and the column would be 3. So we have the column 3 and the row 30. So that will be on the previous page. We have column 3 and row 30. And so that number is how many minutes? That row is 70 minutes. All right, we'll go back to our next page here and get back to our lesson. So we continued that. They got uh, one more number, 677, from the random digit table and found out that that is 42 minutes for that person. So that is our random sample. Initially, you will select five values from the population to form your sample. This is a very small sample size, but it is a good place to start to understand the idea of the lesson. Number one, use the table of random numbers to select five values from the population of times. What are the five observations in your table? So I place the pencil on the table of random digits five times to get the random numbers. Then I go to the random number table on page 126. Find the fine values for my random sample. These are the numbers that I got. 53 minutes, 63 minutes, 31 minutes, 70 minutes, and 42 minutes. For the sample you have selected, calculate the sample mean. So remember that the mean is the mathematical average. And do you remember how to calculate that? The average, you're going to add up the minutes the people spent at the health club and divide by how many numbers are in your sample. So we have 53 plus 63, etc. And then we have five sets of data. So we add that together and we divide by five. So the average time that these people sent, spent at the health club was 51.8 minutes. You selected a random sample and calculated the sample mean in order to estimate the population mean. Do you think that the mean of these five observations is exactly correct for the population mean, which would be out of 800 people? The sample mean is not likely correct. The sample is so small. Could the population mean be greater than the number you calculated? Could the population mean be less than the number you calculated? It could be more or less. In practice, you only take a sample in order to estimate a population characteristic. But for the purposes of this lesson, suppose you were to take another random sample from the same population of times at the gym. Will the new sample mean be closer to the population mean? than the mean of these five observations. Could it be farther from the population mean? Another sample mean is likely not closer to the population mean. It could be closer or further. Exercise five through seven is an in-class activity. In this lesson, you have learned a population characteristic is estimated by taking a random sample from the population and calculating the value of the statistic for the sample. For example, a population mean is estimated by selecting a random sample from the population and calculating the sample mean. The value of the sample statistic, in this case, the sample mean, will vary based on the random sample that is selected. This variation from sample to sample in the values of the sample statistic is called sampling variability. Study tip. 
that term is going to come back and there will be questions about that sampling variability that is the variation from sample to sample in the values of the sample statistics is called sampling variability you will want to remember that you want the sampling variability of the sample mean to be small so that you can expect your value of the sample mean to be close to the population mean. The mean is going to be different than the actual mean. Let me repeat that and clarify. The sample mean is going to be different than the actual mean, but you want the variability to be small so that you can expect your value to be close to the population mean.